Today we're going to be looking at this wireless RGB keyboard that you can actually swap out the actual switches if you wanted. Comes with spare keycaps as well, so you can have it black or white. And it's got a frame you can remove as well if you really want to. All that, and this is from a company called Klim. Looking at the front of the box, it does actually look pretty good, to be honest with you. You've got the manufacturer's name as well as their logo in the top left. It's called the Klim Shift, and this is the UK one, hence the UK flag, which is just a slightly different layout. And it's a mechanical wireless keyboard. The keyboard itself has got a gloss finish over it, so it pops out. It does actually look better than some, should we say, more well-known brands. The back and the sides of the box are pretty straightforward. The multilingual, and it tells you all the different specifications on that. Also, one thing nice to note is it does state that it uses recycled paper and packaging on the actual product packaging. Let's talk about the brand to start with. Klim, I've never used them before, never really heard of them, to be honest with you, so really unsure what to make of it. According to them, it's their mission is to make sure that you always work and play in the best conditions, blah, 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 quality matters, performance, pretty much what every other manufacturer says. But one thing I do actually like is on their advertising and so forth they actually tell you the names and show you pictures of the people like the project engineer who's matter vivian the product specialist and thomas a pro product developer which gives the product or the brand more of a personal touch which i do actually like and i wish other brands would do the same so the keyboard's small in size, big in features. It's a 60% wireless hot swappable mechanical keyboard with brown tactile switches. 60% basically means it's quite small. You're missing stuff like the number pad and so forth on the side. It's easy to use. You could either use it via Bluetooth or using wireless using the dongle. Fully customizable. It's got 19 RGB backlighting modes, two keycap sets. It's got a magnetic top frame that can be removed for a different look. So it's got lots of different options on there. It's built to last. The keys have a 50,000, sorry, 50 million keystroke lifetime. So you can hold on to it for the next decade with a weight of 640 grams. And it comes with roughly a five year warranty as well. So great value, great investment. Obviously we'll check into that in a second. So inside the box, well, there's a hell of a lot of stuff, a lot more than I was expected. So not only have you got the keyboard, which has got the removable frame around it, which we'll look at in a bit, you've got an extra set of keys, which are in white, so you can swap those out which is pretty easy to do. It does come with a keycap remover as well as a actual switch remover and two spare switches as well if you do need them in that bag. You've got this cover here which tells you how to do all that which comes on top of there. Inside this envelope here you've got some stickers and you also had the information here about Klim and about their staff which I'm not sure is actually needed on there or not. You've also got a shortcut reference guide as well as a user manual as well and a little bit of packaging. And on top of all that you've got your cable as well which is here which is a USB type C to USB type A. Okay, so let's have a look at the top of the keyboard. As you can see, I've already changed some of the caps on the top. So we've changed the enter spaces as well as W, A, S, and D to white instead of black. You can change whichever keys you want. There is a spare white set of every single key. So you can have it all white or all black if you really wanted to, which is really good. And you can easily replace the keys by just getting the key remover here, putting it over the key you want to take off and then just pull up. You will have to hold the keyboard. There you go. And it just pulls up. Then you've got your switch there. You can remove the switch with the included remover there. So you just basically squeeze there, pull up, and it pulls the switch out, and you'll be left with this switch there. It does come with two spares. You could replace those switches if you wish with different switches like a red or a blue or whatever you prefer. Otherwise, as you can see, the RGB we've got on at the moment, and it does light up pretty good. You can see the RGB writing around the edge of the keys, as well as on the actual keys itself 
well through where obviously the letters are where they've been laser etched out which is pretty good the keyboard is a 60 percent keyboard so it does mean you lose your number pad and even your function keys along the top a lot of times though you'd never probably use those anyway but if you do wish to you can basically use those keys the function keys with a combination of the keys on the keyboard as well as different keys for doing lighting and stuff like that by either using the alt and the function key or whatever to use those functions now if you wanted to you can also remove the frame so it's basically a magnetic frame you just basically you have to pull a couple of keys down and then pull up on the frame and it pulls off so if you prefer to have a frame only design which is white underneath and so you can see around it for a slightly different look you can do with ease as you can see there but obviously that's all down to preference Okay, on the underside of the keyboard, obviously we've got the model numbers and stuff like that. There is a little button here which allows you to change modes. That's between Bluetooth or Wi-Fi using the receiver, which is here. It's taped in at the moment. I would have preferred that to be a switch on the back so you could easily change without having to lift the keyboard upside down. But it does have the option there at least. You do have four rubberized feet, two at the front and then two at the back. The ones at the back are actually on the feet, what you can change in a second so that will stop it sliding on the table you've got two adjustments on the feet one and two depending on how high you want it and each of those adjustments do have a rubberized top so that will stop it sliding around on your desk and so forth if you wished so for example there as you can see it's moving a little bit but again this is on a mat at the moment so it gives you a rough idea now the back of the keyboard here you do have your on and off switch which obviously well i don't think i need to tell you turns it off and on you've also got your charging port there as well so you plug in your usb type c connector into your pc or your plug socket or whatever you've got and it will charge it up now the say when this is lit up fully so you've got rgb lights on and so forth you're going to get four hours worth of usage out of the battery what's built in so that's not a lot but bear in mind if you turn the rgb effects down or even off you will obviously extend that by quite a bit but i would still obviously make sure you if you go in elsewhere you've got a cable with you to charge it up now they do provide a nice shortcut reference guide that it says us layout but again you use it for uk and then they've got other languages on the other side but the keys do the same thing so if you hold for example function down and print that's previous and so forth like previous track you press for example function and number two you it does f2 and so forth so you can press different buttons to do different things so function and enter it will do like changing the color and then you've got function as well as the backspace will change the effect and so forth so if i hold function down wherever it is there in the backspace as you can see we're swapping between the different RGB effects there. If there's any slight flickering of lights, that's just due to the camera refresh rates and the refresh rate on the actual keyboard. But it gives you a rough idea. You've got a few different options and then you can choose different colours of those effects as well. There's quite a few different versions there you can go for. It's really up to you what you want in. But the basics is you basically press these keys over here as well as the function key and it will do different things. You can change the brightness as well. Increasing brightness is the up arrow. So that one there. Or you can lower the brightness there, which will obviously save on your battery. So it's really up to you what you want to actually do. You can even do speed effects and so forth. So if you want the effects to go faster or slower, you press the forward button or the backwards button. Really up to you obviously you can do most of these effects through the software which we'll go through shortly okay we're now going to do a sound test the microphone is here which is 20 centimeters away from the keyboard this is totally unedited so if my sound sounds a little bit different that is why now we're going to test the standard keys like the qwerty keys to give you a rough idea As you can hear, the space bar sounds a little bit different. So does the enter key. The 
So overall, the, all the keys sound fairly similar, with the exception of the space bar, which does have more of um, a duller or a bassier effect to it compared to the other keys. But otherwise, absolutely fine typing experience, no issues, no stability issues either. Uh, it's fairly simple and easy to type on. Okay, down to the software. First things first, you have to download it off of their website. It's in a zip folder, you unzip it. I would recommend you disable your security because our security uh, picked it up as a threat. So we had to allow it, disable security and redo it. And we had a few issues with uh, the actual software picking the keyboard up, kept saying it was disconnected. And make sure that the cable is plugged into your device. You're wanting it to uh, obviously uh, control. So you have to plug the cable into the keyboard, into your PC, then run the software and if that doesn't work try turning the keyboard on and off again and it should get there it took us a few attempts and it finally picked it up uh, with instructions precisely did it on multiple machines and still had issues but in the end we got there um, uh, take a bit of playing about with but let's have a look at the software itself so you can change it between different profiles, one, two, and three. So you can have one set up for, let's say, doing office work, one for gaming, and one for playing another game or something on that lines. You've got your effects on here, so you've got lots of different options for changing the lighting effects and so forth. It's totally up to you which you have it, and then it gives you options for choosing colours and combinations. You can choose the brightness, how dark it is. Just bear in mind, the brighter you have it, obviously, the quicker the battery is going to run out on it, and it only runs lasts for about four hours roughly and that's uh conservative uh just bear that in mind if you have all these bells and whistles on then you will have uh, issue with your battery you do have key settings on here so you can select an individual key and set it as a default key you can have it as a keystroke multimedia key or a macro it's talking about macros you do have an option on here to create a macro so it's pretty straightforward you press new type the keys you want it to be and so forth and it uh, away you go uh, create a macro and bar combine that that or bind it to a specific key if you wish otherwise that's pretty much it for the software nothing too special in there but it was a bit of a pain that you do have to plug the cable in for it to be able to uh, go in or at least in our experience anyway so in conclusion we've got ourselves a keyboard which is great value for its price you may usually get one of the features it comes with like for example it might be wireless or bluetooth or both but for it to have rgb on there as well and as having that option to remove in the frame so you can have a different look if you really want to is absolutely amazing not only that it comes with a spare set of keycaps so if you don't like black keycaps you can swap them to the white ones or you can have a combination like we've done so black and white that's pretty amazing to be honest for that price range it's absolutely brilliant i can't really have much of a complaint about it the only issue i did have and it's only a little one was the software getting it to pick up the keyboard could be a little bit of a pain but again it's one of those things you'll probably set up once or maybe never ever use overall i would highly recommend this keyboard